I have been using these different types of short range and long range wireless transceiver modules for quite a long time. Today for the first time I'm going to use these long range low energy LoRa SX1278 modules with Arduino. This is a getting started tutorial and I will try my level best to keep things as simple as possible. Initially I will start with the hello world example. We will send the hello world message wirelessly to the receiver LoRa module and then I will modify the same code for monitoring an analog sensor. I will be using a potentiometer as the sensor which of course you can replace with any other sensor as per your requirement. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. I have got these three LoRa SX1278 modules. LoRa is a digital wireless data communication IoT technology. LoRa transmits over licensed 3 MHz radio frequency bands, 169 MHz, 433 MHz Asia, 868 MHz Europe and 915 MHz North America. LoRa enables very long range wireless data transmission. The type of the LoRa modules I am using supports 433 MHz. Each LoRa module is also provided with an antenna which we will need to solder over here to increase the wireless communication range. The supply voltage is 1.8 to 3.7 volts so it can be used with 3.3 volts and 5 volts compatible controller ports without any problem. The operational temperature range is minus 40 Celsius to plus 85 Celsius. It has a total of 12 VRs or holes which are clearly labeled and out of which we will be using only VCC, MISO, MOSI, SL, CK, NSS and ground. As a beginner you may get scared when you first look at these holes as they are very close to each other because you cannot solder these regular mail headers. But no worries at all. You can simply start by soldering jumper wires which of course will need some soldering practice. As you can see I soldered the jumper wires and the antennas. Next I checked the short circuits using a digital multimeter and then to secure the wires I applied the silicon. This will help to keep the wires in place and will also protect the wires from getting disconnected. When it comes to the applications you have almost infinite ways of controlling and monitoring things including automated meter reading, home and building automation, wireless alarm and security system, industrial monitoring and control, long range irrigation system and so on. But anyways as this is a getting started tutorial I will stick to the very basics. So I'm going to start with the first example that is the hello world example. Let's take a look at the circuit diagrams. These are the minimal connections which you will need to get started with the LoRa modules. The LoRa SX1278 module interfacing with the Arduino is very simple. The VCC of the LoRa module is connected with the 3.3 volts of the Arduino. The MISO pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's pin 12. The MOSI pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 11. The SCLK pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's pin 13. The NSS pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 10 and the ground pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's ground. The same connections we will also need on the receiver side. On the top you can see is the 5 volt regulator power supply based on the 705 voltage regulator. You will need this power supply if you want to power up your Arduino using an external 12 volt power supply or a solar panel. 
I connected my LoRa modules with the Arduino Nano's Ace per the circuit diagram. So I'm going to use this one as the transmitter and this one as the receiver. So my hardware is ready and now let's take a look at the transmitter and receiver programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download the LoRa library from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. As you can see, this is such a small code. The only thing that you need to take care of is this frequency. As you can see, I'm using 433 megahertz. So if your LoRa module supports another frequency, simply change this value. Inside the loop function, I defined a variable my message of the type string, which I'm going to use for storing a message. And then using the LoRa.print function, the message is sent to the other LoRa module on the receiver side. Now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. The receiver side code is also very simple. I define two variables of the type string. Code inside the setup function remains exactly the same. Inside the loop function, we check if the LoRa module has received data, then read from the LoRa module, add each character to end string variable to make a complete message, and is then stored in another string variable my message. Finally, we empty the end string variable, and then using the serial.println function, we print the message on the serial monitor. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded the programs and now let's watch the hello world project in action it's simply amazing with just a few lines of code, we created this amazing wireless message sending system using Arduino and the low energy long range LoRa SX1278 modules. Since monitoring with the LoRa and Arduino is as simple as sending this hello world message, this hello world example you can use to test your LoRa modules while the practical use of LoRa may involve monitoring sensors and controlling electrical loads. So in this next example, we are going to make a sensor monitoring system using the Arduino and LoRa module. For now, I will do it only for one sensor and then in the upcoming video, I will do it for multiple sensors. So let's go ahead and take a look at the transmitter and receiver circuit diagrams. On the transmitter side, I connected a potentiometer with the analog pin A2 of the Arduino while everything else remains exactly the same. While on the receiver side, nothing is changed. I connected the potentiometer as per the circuit diagram. My transmitter and receiver circuits are ready. Now let's take a look at the transmitter and receiver programming. In the transmitter code, I did only two changes. I defined a pin for the potentiometer, which is connected with the analog pin A2. Inside the loop function, I'm simply reading the potentiometer and store the value in variable valve. You can see I'm using the MIP function. So the value which is stored in the variable valve is the MIP value and finally using the LoRa.print function the potentiometer value is sent to the receiver side. Now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. On the receiver side, I defined a variable for storing the potentiometer value. Maximum of the code remains exactly the same. I added this one more instruction that converts the string value into an integer value. Finally, these instructions are used to send the potentiometer values to the serial monitor. So that's all about the transmitter and receiver programming. I have already uploaded the programs. Let's watch the Arduino and LoRa based sensor monitoring project in action. In my upcoming videos, I will display the sensor values on the OLED display module. I will also explain how to monitor multiple sensors, how to communicate with multiple LoRa nodes, 
how to request data from a particular node, how to make a LoRa gateway and so on. Consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. In thanks for watching.